warrior three sequence that you either did this morning or you did virtually on the pre-recorded class and I'm going to go through essentially four components of how I create the sequence the first one is the pose itself the theme what poses look like this pose in a different plane and then body parts that need to be opened or strengthened to prepare and then we'll go through the sequence itself so as you can see here in the bottom left corner, there's a photograph of me in today's peak pose, which is a bit of a funny one. It's a cross essentially between a back bend and a standing leg balance. And so what I like to do before um, I create any sequence is I like to look at the peak pose, usually a photograph of it, and get a sense of what other poses look like this pose in a different plane. So as I've written here uh, in the top left corner, Poses that look like this pose are warrior three, half bow, tabletop with uh, one or two floating limbs. And so that gives me a sense of poses that I'm going to incorporate. I'll incorporate all of these poses into the warm up before the peak pose. As I have mentioned in a couple of the other breakdowns, if you can get the body to do different components of the pose, the peak pose, before you get to the peak pose, then there's a lot of muscle memory in the body before you get there. So you, they, the student or yourself won't need as much uh, theoretical or anatomical cueing, and it'll allow you to speak less so that they can be in their experience more. My theme of, of the class was removing obstacles. It was Ganesha. And I specifically chose this theme for this pose. How they correlate to each other is you need a lot of back strengthening, which is um, the witness. You need to step back and kind of observe, right? You need a lot of strength itself. And I find a lot of endurance, especially for the sequence. So Ganesha, the remover of obstacles, will help hopefully remove the obstacles of um, the, you know, tightness in the front body, if we got in the physical body, tightness in the, in the front body, endurance, right, breath. And so we chanted to Ganesha. And some of the themes that, um, that you can think of or that I offered in this was what begins to arise in the mind's eye, right, what surfaces to your awareness, especially as we go through um, the class. I'll, I like to ask questions throughout the class because it, it gives context of the physical practice into what I would call the spiritual or the, um, the mind body connection. And so as you're kind of moving things around in your physical body, right, what's arising in the, in, in your mind, because as we know, they're correlated.